Hi everyone, I'm Nick, and in this episode of Python 3 Crash Course, we're going to be going over return values, specifically in the context of functions. So last time we looked at how we can, you know, make arbitrary functions, and then those functions will, you know, do whatever we say they do. So in that case, we looked at, you know, just doing different implementations of print. So printing out, you know, say zero arguments, one argument, two arguments, and then any number of arguments using that star args. But this time we're going to kind of move past that and say, what if we want to get something back from the function? So when we called those print functions, all it did was print something to the console, but it'd be really nice if maybe it could calculate something and then give us back a value. So in that case, let's go ahead and open up our example for today called return values.py and we'll implement kind of a basic four function calculator. So in this case, we'll have four functions, each that take uh, two variables, so a and b, and we'll call them add, sub, mul, and div. Now, using this return keyword, this says, wherever the function is called, I want you to pass back this value. So in the case of add, we'll pass back a plus b, uh, subtraction, a minus b, and then so on for the other operations. So if we wanted to, we could say maybe some value is equal to add of say three plus 10. And then what would happen is add would compute three plus, or sorry, um, we would call it with uh, three comma 10. Those would be the two arguments. And then it would return um, in place of where that add function is, it would return uh, 13. So it would set the value equal, or that uh, this value variable equal to 13. So in this case, we'll just go ahead and print out the result. So we'll use some f strings and we will print out 5 plus 3, 10 minus 5, 5 times 5, and then 10 divided by 20. Remember that um, the single slash is for floating point division, so it'll automatically promote these two integers of 10 and 20 to. Uh, uh, to floating point values. So we should get back one half in that case, or 0 0.5. So let's go ahead and uh, try this out. So as always, we'll call this with Python 3, and then on return values.py, and here we have it. So 5 plus 3 is 8, 10 minus 5 is equal to 5, 5 times 5 is equal to 25, and 10 divided by 20 is equal to one half, or 0 0.5. So this is kind of just a basic introduction, but we, we have to remember a couple things here. So we our functions don't just have to be, you know, single line, a single line thing like this. Our functions can act, actually be as many lines as we want. So we can do very, very complex calculations um, within a function that maybe we need to do multiple times in our script. But instead of having to put that big chunk of code multiple times in our script, we just need to put it once as a function and then we just need to call the function every time you want to invoke it. So that's going to do it for today. As always, all the code is available at github.com slash copy before arch. A link to that is in the description below. And uh, as always, I'm Nick, and I hope you have a nice day.